Hello everybody, here is Michael Mark and welcome to my channel, My Work Channel. Today, Buat and Butat travel to Sa'ang for his charity work but in the middle of the road, they met the grandma that picked up recycle along the street. Her name is Guman and she is 82 years old. And her husband dies when the pole part begin. She had two sons to raise their two sons after her husband died in the pole part regime. She had to work as the labor job like she do the farming but she didn't own any farm or any land. But she just worked for somebody else. Her life start really hard to raise their two children after her husband died and she just moving around wherever they have the job, she just move over there. In Cambodia, people work labor job like 500 years ago so everything do by hand like digging the dirt and pulling the grass and cleaning the grass from the farm it no new modern technology machine like america or the other country She do whatever's available, the jobs around like washing dish or cleaning the grass from the farm or do something else, everything that's whatever available around her to earn a little money to make her living to survive. Pooh stop by just interview her some how do you make your living and how is your life. She said my life is not very well because I'm 82 years old. When I was young I just go anywhere I want and then I just work here really hard to earn some money. But when I am old I cannot work anymore. What are, do you have any more children live with you or under you take care of them? And she said, I only have one grand grandson with me. He is 13 years old and he didn't have a good school to start either. And he just start on the second grade right now, but he go to school every day. And I'm so poor and getting old, I cannot afford it. Only way I can make my living, just have my old bicycle that have been given by the owner who buy my recycle. I just do the best I can to searching all the recycle, plastic, aluminum can, and then I get a couple thousand reels a day. And 4,000 real is a chance to be American dollar, it's just one dollar. 
She tried to working hard to pick up recycle only the income that the be able to send her grand grandson, 13 years old, go to school. So a day he had to spend 2,000 real is 50 cents. Wood asked her, where do you live before? So she showed the place that this the little shelter built along the lake. And you can see a lot of tracks all over the place. But this uh, along the street too. She sleep in there at her house. You can see the view from the video. It all in the real life. But with what and I, we work as a team. Have another guy. His name Putak. Is a peep and to what is Robert. Nothing much I can do, so I just do the best I can to share this video to the world. If you guys see this video, please share this video if you would like to help. And Pooh continue to ask her, do you have enough food to eat? She said, no, sometimes she's starving, she's hungry, she didn't have any food to eat. And uh, some people saw her and give her some food and water and something else or a little money a couple thousand real or five thousand real to give to her and then she can continue to live with her old age And to what are do you have enough money to give to your grand grandson go to school? She said no. What is he going to do if he didn't have money? Yeah, he just go and then he didn't have anything to eat. And sometimes he just go to the temple, whatever left over from the monk, and he can eat, he can survive. This is really heartbroken, so I live in the United States. I used to go through all those. I always mention about my previous life, and I know exactly what's going on and how is the poor people life live in Cambodia. In Cambodia, it isn't like over here, they didn't have any job open. If they have a job available all over the place, even the rural too, people not going to get poor, they will get better life. It's the real problem to make people poor and affect all over the country. 
if we didn't have any job available. I feel so much so sorry for them and especially that 13 years old boy he should have education to build his life but it generation by generation as I always said about it and mentioned about it like the grandma common 82 years old generation and during the war she didn't have any education or the school and then Pass to the next generation, her two sons didn't have any education too, and pass to her grandchildren, no education too. And then this generation is the fourth generation, pass to her grand grandchildren, they didn't have any education too, because it's no job available, it's no opportunity, nobody helping them. Poorwood and I work as a team and Poorwood working really hard to take the action over at Cambodia so they travel across the country to search for, to looking for those people who need help. After they helping them and get some information so they send this video to me I created here post on YouTube so when people watch it, they feel so sad, they feel so sorry, they feel compassion. They want to contribute the money to helping them, and they send money to me, and then I send the money to Cambodia, to Kuwait and Putak, and then they can give to those people directly. Thank you very much, Sister Soktol, that she sent the money to Puwat, and Puwat can help her $25 in Cambodian money is 100,000 real. Sound great about 100,000 real, but of course it's so little, only $25. Every people can spend one dollar a day and the other people like the middle class they can spend for ten dollars a day but mostly the poor the top earning only a dollar twenty five cents a day and the middle class they can earn ten dollar to twenty five dollars a day but I'm not sure about the rich how million dollar how much they earn I'm not sure it is all about the story of grandma Kumon 82 years old live in Cambodia she pick up recycle for her survival If you guys would like to help, please share the video. If you would like to support, please subscribe and click notification bell to receive new video. You can miss it. I upload this video every 6 p.m. at Central Time. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye bye now.